Recently, Nintendo released an amiibo of the Super Smash Bros. fighter known as Pit, who is from the nostalgic video game classic called Kid Icarus. Even though this title brings back all sorts of nostalgic feelings, it has to be one of the hardest games I've ever played for the NES. If you intend on sitting back and bringing your A game, you better plan on bringing your triple fucking A game, because this game is going to cause you 50 shades of anger! Yeah, it's kind of like that. The instruction booklet describes in detail how the peaceful kingdom of Angel Land has been overthrown by the evil Medusa and is now out to piss off every gamer that even thinks about playing through this game. There's also a cool enemy list inside of this booklet. But if this game is intended for kids, I'm not sure how this picture even got in here. Save that for later. When the game begins, your adventure will take you upward and onward. Your mission will start off in the underworld and lead to the palace in the sky where you'll ultimately go head to head with Medusa. The cool thing about this game is Pit can disappear on the left side of the screen and reappear on the right. Unfortunately, enemies can also do this. Ah, damn it! The higher you climb, ledges will start dropping off the bottom of the screen, and this is where most of our troubles begin. Start tossing in these areas with small ledges, and the scale of difficulty slowly begins to increase. Son of a... In this game, you'll find that enemies pour out of every side of the screen. And of course, the most annoying of these enemies has to be the Grim Reaper. If she sees you, she'll end up sending her death babies to chase after you. And these little turds will fuck you up! Ah! Get away from me! Ah! It's gonna take a lot of determination and nerves of steel to reach the top of this level. And to keep the momentum going throughout the next level, you're gonna need superhuman reflexes to avoid enemies as the difficulty keeps increasing. Now whenever you kill an enemy, they end up leaving behind these little hearts for you to collect. Picking these up does not increase your health like any other normal game would play out. Instead, collecting these hearts will allow you to buy things. It's only by passing through these small doors that you'll find these black market dealers which will take your body parts and trade them for actual items. And you can buy potions that refill your health, feathers that save you from falling off the screen, or you can either pick the wooden barrel. Pick this up and the asshole just laughs at you. Other doors found throughout these levels also lead to rooms where enemies drop big hearts, gives you endurance tests for better weapons, and mystics that can even increase your powers until your character turns green. Alright, time for me to power up green as well! Once you climb high enough to reach the level fortress, you'll find that the game's difficulty has increased even further as you race around from room to room, dodging every danger known to man. Like snakes, skulls, spikes, bugs, and nightclub bouncers. But nothing's gonna compare to the dreaded eggplant wizard. One touch from these projectiles, and you'll be wearing an eggplant on your head. This prevents Pit from attacking any kind of enemy in the game. Now the only way to cure yourself of this eggplant-itis is to visit the medic. This usually requires you to backtrack through the level before you go back and encounter the same eggplant wizards as before. Oh come on again? You garden salad tossing bastards! During your trek through this fortress, you may run across one of these maps. But to actually put it to good use, you'll need to find another black market dealer. If you end up buying the torch, you'll be able to see exactly where you are on the map. Buying the pencil shows you where you've been, and buying the barrel... Oh, son of a bitch. After wandering around and finding the level boss, you'll quickly realize that in order to kill him, you'll have to hit him a total of 50 times? Jesus! How the hell does this game expect me to traverse all these levels, explore a huge dungeon, avoid eggplants, and then live long enough to hit a level boss a total of 50 times in a row? Apparently, Nintendo has no faith in us either, as they loaded this game with all kinds of passwords to help us defeat it. And some of these are pretty clever, too. Icarus fights Medusa Angels, Packing, 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 Kid Kid Icarus, Icarus and the Flying Arrows, 
And eight. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wonder what would happen if I typed in Kid Icarus as a shit burger. Oh no. No! Ow! Ow! Reaching level 2 now has Pit traveling horizontally as the level becomes even more intense. There's no time to stop and smell the roses here, because enemies will be literally raining down on top of you. You also have to deal with slippery ice conditions, as well as these snowball flinging assholes. Which are called... You know what, I'm gonna have to look that one up. Snowball flinging assholes? Alrighty then. These are just one of the many obstacles that stands between you and the level fortress. And believe me, I'm in no hurry to get there either, because all I do is wander around looking for the level boss, and repeatedly get eggplants on my head. Great, now I gotta find the damn hospital medic. Now don't go anywhere, sweetheart, because I'm sure I'll be back in like five minutes. So now we come to the level boss, and big surprise, now we have to hit him a hundred times in a row! Good god, man! Looks like I won't be going anywhere until, uh, about August. Once reaching level 3, the bar is raised yet again as we come to this bullshit, jumping from a long series of small ledges. One misstep, and we'll have to do this all over again. Damn it, you better not fall. No! Oh. Steady, steady. Careful! Alright, one more. Oh, finally! God, I swear this game's gonna give me a damn aneurysm. As my perilous journey skyward comes to an end, it's on to the last fortress. And in this level, you'll find eggplant wizards are waiting for you every damn turn! Eggplant wizards to the left, to the right, left, right, up, down, up, down, be a start! After finding this level boss, it becomes another lengthy marathon to try and hit him a hundred times in a row. Miss Parker? Yes, Cyrate Gamer. Clear my calendar for the week. I'm going in. Successfully killing off this floating booger will cause you to finally reach the last level of this excruciating game. Now the weird thing about this area is that it keeps looping over and over again like a bad Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Every enemy and every obstacle will keep reappearing until you've cleared the board of at least 50 enemies. After that, you can then advance to the last boss of the game. Where the hell am I? At last, I've arrived at the final boss, Medusa. Now you might think that this will be the most exhausting battle of the game, but surprisingly enough, it's actually the easiest. Just pop a squat in the middle of the screen and fire away. In less time than it takes to kill off those stupid Grim Reaper babies, you defeat Medusa. Of course, the game's ending is one last can of worms we need to talk about. If you played through this game trying to survive the best you could, you'll most likely get one of these three endings, where you're only rewarded a stupid hat for your troubles. Wow, way to go. If you went above and beyond in your mission, your steroids will kick in and Pit will become bigger. The best ending, however, is when Pit becomes bigger, angels start dancing around, and the princess throws herself at me and wants to have my babies. Hell yeah, now that's what I'm talking about! Well, enough of that. Let's see what ending I'm gonna get. After all that time getting my ass handed to me, this is the ending I get? You want eggplant? I'll give you eggplant! Alright guys, I hope you loved that episode. If you had a favorite moment, please write it in the comments box below. I love reading that stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel because there are more reviews coming. Make sure you check out my last one where I reviewed DuckTales. And make sure you check out I Rate the 80s for my Captain EO review. And as always, game on.